our tip of the week this week, um, as we do each week with these, um, is publishing a BIMX uh, uh, file with gallery views. Uh, this is something that is actually quite a, a nice feature um, to when you publish your BIMX files to have uh, saved with it. It allows your clients as well as yourself to navigate the model much easier. What I mean by that is that for both publishing to a BIMX viewer, so a viewer that you use for um, uh, being able to walk through uh, the project, or to a mobile, which I'll talk about in a second device as well. But in both of those cases, um, what it is is like if you're in your viewer and you're you're looking around and you click to go to this little bookmark, which is actually the gallery views, these are preset views. And by clicking on any one of those views, they will then automatically take you to a point in the model, whether that's inside or outside your building, to better easily and more easily navigate through the model. It's the same thing on your uh, iPhone or Android device or iPad or any other mobile devices. When you export to those devices, it's going to do the same thing. Up in the upper uh, right-hand corner of those devices is a little bookmark, so what I just showed you on the viewer. And when you click that, you'll see pre-saved views, the same ones that you see in the viewer. And what these, again, same thing, allow you to do is you double-click on the entrance or an inside view or an outside view, and allows you to much more quickly go to that. Now, how do you create these? You create these using the camera tool. And you need to make sure that these uh, cameras are on when you export uh, and publish that BIMX file. So you go to your camera tool under your more settings and you create, you don't have to create, but I would suggest you create a, uh, a camera a path called BIMX gallery views. And then when you do that, you're then going to start to create and place camera points in your model wherever you want those um, uh, preset views to be set. Be aware when you place those that you want to make sure to pay attention to where your camera is set in terms of its height, right? So that if you've got a project that's multiple stories, or the stories as you go from interior to exterior is, is different, um, that you want to move those cameras up or down so that when you, you know, when you click on that preset view, it automatically takes you to that second floor and to the correct uh, eye, eye level uh, within um, your project. And then, of course, once you've done that and you go and you um, publish, you know, using your BIMX model export uh, publisher set, and then you publish to uh, your um, uh, BIMX model externally, whether that's to, again, the Graphisoft um, uh, transfer site or just locally to your computer, it's then going to save these gallery views that you can then access really quickly on your iPhone or on a... Um, uh, iPad, or as I mentioned earlier, uh, or Android device, or as I mentioned earlier, to on a um, BIMX viewer, or um, that you would use as well. Okay, so that's our tip of.